So here we are, it's one of these days when it's a day of potions and alchemy. So what we've got now is better you've got a condition whereby you've got some inflammation in the gum. And this happens quite often to people, doesn't it? And it feels sore and painful when you brush your teeth or touch it. And that's the way that your body is telling you that there's something that needs to be addressed. So what I've realised is what we need to start off with is what I tend to regard as the world's most powerful anti-inflammatory natural plant medicine, which is called turmeric. I'm not going to use very much at all. In fact, I'm going to use that amount. I think that's going to do fine. So I'll put this into my very minuscule pestle and mortar. And I'm going to want to add a tiny amount of black pepper to potentize that turmeric. So you can almost laugh at how little there is there. You see it on the edge of the spoon there, knock that in as well. You don't need much. So there we are. That gives you an idea of how much turmeric and how black, much black pepper we're using. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some coconut oil because we want, you know, the mouth is a wet place, so we need to have something which is not liquidy to do this. So oil has the ability to kind of stay. And one of the things I do when I clean my teeth, my final teeth cleaning protocol is always to brush my teeth very gently and lightly with coconut oil. It's antibacterial, good in its own right. So we've got the black pepper, which is potentizing the turmeric by a factor of 2,000, 2,000 times as potent. And we've got the benefits of the coconut oil going in there as well. So now what I'm going to do is just going to mix them together until we end up with the turmeric mixed into coconut oil. And then what we'll be able to do is this can just be applied directly to the area. There you see, as soon as the turmeric, as soon as the coconut oil turns yellow, we know we've got it. So it didn't take any time at all, really, did it? So basically what we can do is we can apply a little bit of this yellow oily stuff to the affected part, and that will help reduce the inflammation, which means what that will happen is then the gum can heal itself and you've got the antibacterial and the healing properties of the coconut oil just to make things even more powerful. So there we go. Done.